The past couple months in my graveyard project pan have really been very productive and very eye-opening for certain things. So I'm here to update you today on my graveyard project pan progress over the past couple of months. This project was created by Emily at Emily and Max, and I'll have lots of details and links for you linked below in the description box in case you're interested in joining uh, the second leg of this project. I really like to talk about project panning on my channel. I like to buy new things here and there, but I also am trying to be more mindful and thoughtful consumer. So if you are kind of like me and you want to get lots of use out of your makeup and not neglect it, then I would love for you to consider subscribing before we go any further into the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. And I hope that you find some inspiration from today's update. I want to go ahead and give you an update on the things that are going to stay in this project, which started out with six things. And for the graveyard project pan, you can pick uh, products based off two categories. One is going to be collecting cobwebs. And these are going to be the neglected products in your makeup or beauty collection. And the resurrection product products are things that you have put in projects before, but maybe you didn't meet your goal or you didn't finish those products. So those are what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And I do have a couple of things that I'm rolling out. Very excited about that. Staying in to the project is my, my Collecting Cobwebs Primer from Smashbox. I have the Mattifying Primer. When I brought this into the project a couple of months ago, I was just about halfway done, and I'm estimating that I'm about right here. I really like to use this when I am using a couple of various dewier foundations that I have in my makeup collection, especially in the summertime. This does a really great job of mattifying and kind of smoothing out my pores, and I just wasn't giving it enough love, really, honestly. So, not that it's a bad thing, it was just kind of like tucked behind a whole bunch of things, and it was collecting some cobwebs, so dusting it off and getting it some good use. And I would love to have this finished by the end of the project at the end of October. Also staying in this project, because again, I keep forgetting about it, was a collecting cobwebs product from NARS. That's the translucent crystal powder. I did kind of dust it all over my face today, and I think that I'm just trying to... Um, I'm not a big powder person anyway, and it's so little and it just kind of gets lost in things. And right now I'm kind of finding a lot of benefit from using some powders that I have in some face palettes that I've been using. So something like this really kind of gets lost in the shuffle. And that's the whole point of this project is to be able to dust off those cobwebs and, and continue to meet goals on things that you've been using. So I'm going to just kind of keep using this. I don't have a set goal for this just to kind of continue to use it and not forget about it. Also staying in is my Bare Minerals Concealer. Last time I weighed this, it weighed 22 grams, and I do take the lid off of things if I am able to, just because that's unnecessary weight. Um, so the packaging and the product right now weigh 22 grams, and I need to weigh it right now to tell you what it weighs, so I'll be right back. Not surprisingly, because I barely used this over the past couple of months, it still weighs 22 grams. So we're going to need to really, really kick it into gear for this one. I would like to use this up by the end of the year. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to use it up by the end of the project. I like to use this on lighter coverage days when I just kind of want to look a little bit more put together. Uh, so it's not something that I use super, super often. So I definitely want to continue to dust off the cobwebs and get it used up. Now, I'm so excited to share with you the three things that I'm going to be rolling out of the project, either because it's used all the way up or I'm decluttering it. And this one's kind of a declutter slash used up. It is my Collecting Cobwebs CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplify Primer. I just had this open for a really long time and I did not use it very much over the past couple months because, again, I 
forget about it. It just gets tucked away under things in my makeup bag. And because it's been open for so long and I, you know, I want it to be eye safe, I am going to go ahead and just count this as a declutter slash completed product and it will end up going in the trash. So I got some use out of it, but not as much as I wanted to within this project. Finished, all the way finished, thanks to my daughter, is my um, Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. Her and I had been using this uh, at night on our fingers and our toes. And between you and me, a couple times she accidentally spilled it in her bed, but I didn't fret over it because I was trying to get it used up. I had this marked, but because of the like um, sticky sticker label thing and, and the oil that this product is, it, it wiped away. So it, it was pretty close to the top, maybe about here. And so between her and me, we got this and spilling it, we got it used up. So thankful for that. And right now I got one from the Dollar Tree. It's a different brand of a cuticle oil that's really, really cute and it has these little crystals in it. So I'm using that off and on now as cuticle oil. And the last thing that I have in the project is this Aquage Uplifting Foam. And I'm gonna go ahead and just count this as a declutter. I was pretty well down to here, but I really don't like the way this makes my hair feel. And I don't know if it's because it's older or because I just don't like this product. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna say it's a bad product. It's just not something that I really enjoy and I don't like the feeling of, ha like it makes my hair feel like it's all one piece and it's just really um, like helmet feeling almost. I really just don't like the way it feels. And I've had this for many, many years and I feel like I got my money's worth out of it being all the way down here. I bought it on sale even at Ulta. So we're just gonna go ahead and count it as a finished product because it's basically done. And because I have so much time left in this project, I wanna go ahead and bring out two more collecting cobwebs things that I wanted to kind of just get some use on and kind of purposely encourage myself to use these things. And, um, and I talked about these in my intro video. And the first one is this LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner Pencil and it's uh, Deep Violet is the shade. So I really am not gonna like count uses and I don't know that I wanna like make a line somewhere and like make the goal. I just want to put this out and try to get as much use on it as I can by the end of this project at the end of October. So I just don't use purple and it's a very like, even though it says deep violet, I feel like it's kind of a bright purple. I just don't use that a whole lot, but I like having it as an option. So I think this is gonna encourage me to use more purpley leaning eyeshadows a little more often. So I'm excited to use that. And something, the last thing I'm wearing on my lips today is this Dr. Pawpaw Multi-Purpose Soothing Balm. And it's in the shade uh, Rich Mocha Balm. Uh, it's this brown kind. And I've used this off and on since I did my intro video. And I do actually think that it tastes better than it did the very first time that I used it. Now, uh, it says multi-purpose. I wouldn't want to use this on my face because it's a very, very sticky, but I don't mind using it in on my lips. I don't mind that at all. Um, I wouldn't want to reapply this out and about though because you have to use your fingers. Otherwise, if you went like this, I think it would be too messy. I mean, you'd still have to kind of like even it out with your fingers. So uh, I just kind of, again, want to encourage myself to use this a lot more, maybe around the house, and, you know, uh, right before I leave to go somewhere, just so that I can get some use out of it and pair it with a couple of lip liners that I'm trying to work on and get used up by the end of the year. So that is my update on my graveyard project pan. I have these three products that are gonna continue to stay. And I really think that I can have this finished by the next update, which will be at 
the end of August, I believe. So um, in a couple more months, I think that I can get this used up. And these things I'm just hoping to, again, get some more use out of. And same thing with these. So five products staying in. And I have definitely done a good job of reaching goals on the other three that I kicked out of this project. Thank you so much for watching. And if you watched all the way to the end, let me know what products are collecting cobwebs in your makeup collection. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.